into my last live audio so so much um this is a piece that i wrote earlier today i'm going to key style it for you because those of you who know me personally know the struggles that i have reading what i see it's a lack of my cognitive skills due to my brain fog that i get from both rheumatoid arthritis fibromyalgia and lupus so uh, i'm not downing myself i am highlighting something that came out of a situation that i could have stopped seen as a loss i turned it into a win and i am a spoken word freestylist as the result but when i do attempt to read something that i've written previously i end up editing it along the way and that ladies and gentlemen is what i call a key style so i'm going to key style this there's a picture and it's um homer simpson lying in bed next to a pillow and it simply says look at bay over here looking all invisible and the reason that bay is invisible is because he's sleeping alone like unfortunately i do I tag the love of my life, King's Cadence, in this piece because those of you who know, know that our relationship is long distance. I titled it, Your Side of the Bed. And if you will indulge me, here it is. I sleep with two remote controls, my tablet and a smartphone, tons of pillows, and when it's cold outside, because I live in Illinois, I have many blankets when they're needed too. The only thing that's missing is you. I have night lights, the individual ones and some that change colors. I also have the kind that absorb sunlight and they are solar powered so they're only on at night. I have strings of lights and those are in the loft and they're keeping the lighting in my area soft. I have problems as those of you who know with ultraviolet lighting as well as the sun so a lot of times even when I'm inside glare from your lights from my eyes aren't any fun I sleep alone like I said but sometimes when I'm in bed I like to burn candles and occasionally incense or smoke some good green because that's my that's my medication you know what I mean I'm not the one who's going to be taking a bunch of pain pills and end up addicted to opiates. No, I like to have herbal medication, you know, the kind that comes from the earth and grows. <laughs> I don't do the dark. That's a no-no for this queen. I'm pretty much a scaredy cat, if you know what I mean. I enjoy good music. And I love to call into poetry shows, go on to them online and do spoken word. I share a freestyle or some previously written prose. I also enjoy hosting it. I don't find it a challenge. For me, it's my comfort zone. I dream vividly and in color most likes, even when I nap. People say, I don't understand how that works. I don't always dream, but I don't just dream, I dream in 3D. Sometimes it's in amazing colors and there's sounds and things that are all around me. So when I wake up, I'm actually angry because I love the things that I see when I dream. But I digress. I am currently without my overweight lover to sleep next to and that to me would be best. I cuddle when my grandchildren are over and whenever possible but that's the only time that my bed is full. I am affectionate and passionate. I'm just alone. See, there's no male voice to be heard in my home. I often sleep while my love listens to me, even if while I'm on speakerphone, he hears me snoring. I think that's just our way. Sometimes I listen to him breathe while he's sleeping too, especially when he was hospitalized. Over his sleeping body, I would pray. I crave again to be in his arms. That's where I would stay. All relationships work. Long distance ones are a struggle. We need to get together immediately. I'm talking about rapido and on the double. I want to kiss and snuggle. I want to let him know that when I'm tossing and turning, there's no trouble. I'm just trying to get comfortable, really. 
so I wanted to find a spot for my curly head to lay. I needed him to know that I needed him, like I do every day. The only thing that's missing is the love of my life. I'm patting the other side of my bed right now because it's his and it'll remain empty until it's filled by him. I'm Gina Storm. Thank you for indulging me and listening.